Hey, how's it going everyone? Well, I had mentioned I was going to make a video about how uh, gardening or plants and flowers can help improve your mood. So before I get to that, I'm just going to kind of touch on the fact that I have found myself a new therapist and specializing with those on the spectrum and also uh, helping with interview practice. Yes because I know I'm gonna be reiterating this several times, and I know it's always kind of a bad thing. It's, you know, it can potentially, you know, seem uh, as if, you know, I'm being negative or overly negative, but I do have to get it off my chest that one of the things that really depresses me about what I'm doing right now for work, and I kind of see it as a punishment. Now, I'm gonna make a video talking on this topic, but I'm just gonna kind of just make a very brief mention that I feel like in a sense, it's a form of punishment because, I mentioned in previous videos that one of the things that depresses me the most is when I see couples like or people like, you know, guys with their girlfriends. It really, really, uh, for some reason, it just like spikes my loneliness, uh, spikes my feelings of depression. It's like the one, it's like the one thing, like if someone were to have a knife and stab me in the heart, it's pretty much what it feels like every time I see that. And I see it numerous times throughout my shift and very it's very unpleasant it makes me you know have feelings of failure feelings of ugliness uh this I'm, the big one is of course you know failure this the fact that I've, i failed in my career so okay enough of that that's gonna be for another video now when it comes to trying to uplift your mood like for instance i've got to go to work today and of course that means that i'm gonna to have to be facing those triggers but before i go to work i kind of just like to show you how gardening plants and flowers can just kind of put you in a great mood for one i just like looking at all these foliage it's like uh oh, it's, it's just like amazing that these things like this grew it started off just like as a simple die cut because i remember i pl i planted this one right here and that one over there it's cucumber as you can see you got some cucumber going here so i just like looking at these huge leaves and it's they got, they got some spines on them, but it just, it's kind of soothing in a way. I just kind of like to touch the edges very gently though. Touch the edges, touch the upper side of it. But it's like, it is, it's kind of a really soothing feeling. And I like to do that just to kind of, you know, calm myself. And of course, I got some tomatoes here. And so I'm kind of giving you guys a more detailed uh, view of what's going on here. Uh, here I've got uh, some kind of, this is a bell pepper plant. And it hasn't really gotten much in the way of bell peppers yet but as you can see here we've got a flower that's what i really like about this is you that's going to eventually form into a bell pepper uh so we got some leaves and then of course you got the leaves here and one of my favorite and coming up to it now is the eggplant yes uh, I mentioned in one of my ski videos earlier this year that it was going to be this summer of the eggplant and that's just has to do with like a super tuck position uh, it's mainly known for cycling where you sit in a top tube and you get super aerodynamic but i kind of like to refer to it as a eggplant tuck whether i'm skiing or cycling and of course here we've got ourselves here a black beauty eggplant plant i know it sounds funny saying eggplant plant but <laughs> it is what it is and same thing just the leaves are especially like these bigger leaves. And what's really cool is you can kind of just remember from its earliest days when it was just a simple plant with two leaves. And now look, it's got all these amazing foliage. And then you can see it's gonna start budding some flowers here. Yeah, so it's just kind of a way. So the thing, the thing with plants and flowers is I want you to imagine yourself that you're all by yourself. Now, pick two places. Pick a desert. You're all alone in a desert. Nothing. No life. Nothing whatsoever. Now imagine that you're all of a sudden dropped off. You're by yourself. You're completely alone. No one around you. But there's flowers and plants all around you. Now, take a minute to imagine how would you feel if you if you're just like all of a sudden, you know, dropped off and either, uh, uh, you know, uh, an arid desert environment, no life, anything, no plants, no nothing, or sur dropped off in an area surrounded by plants, flowers. Oh, it's safe to say your mood would probably be a lot better where you're surrounded by plant life and flowers and 
things that can bud fruit and vegetables. And over here, this is kind of going to be one of my favorites. I'm still trying to decipher what this thing is, but these huge leaves, look at these huge leaves. I don't know what this is. It just like, it started growing when we were like kind of raking this area. We had planted all our plants and all of a sudden these things just kind of grew out of nowhere. And I'm really trying to figure out what it is. But nonetheless, uh, I just love these big, huge, see, I have a thing with like, the bigger the leaf is, the more cool, I mean, I don't know, it's just like, especially like if I can just gently like, you know, feel it and kind of like feel the edges. You gotta be careful because it does have spines on them, but it's just kind of a way to kind of help improve my mood, just kind of help, you know, keep me relaxed. And maybe, and, and I'm making this video because maybe uh, plants and flowers are a good way to help cope with depression and anxiety and feelings of loneliness. And I know it's, it, is a, it is a form of life. We may not be able to like have a conversation with it or like do things with it per se, but you gotta remember, it is a form of life. And it's really cool because it's able to, I don't know, it's just like, it, it takes nutrients from the soil uh, and if, you know, forest synthesizes the sunlight and, oh, it's just really cool how you got these things that this are able to, it's almost like they, they grow simply from nutrients from the soil, water, and sunlight. Uh, a habanero pepper plant here. Uh, so, and then we got more eggplants over here. So now I'm just going to kind of walk you along. So we got some flowers. It's going to form into a black, yep, the black beauty. Oh, my favorite, one of my favorites, the black, it's the ones that, you, it's the eggplant you typically find at the stores. So we got more flowers there. And then over here, more eggplant, lots of tomatoes. So it seems like the ones we have the most of are eggplant and tomatoes. And I really wanna see if I can find that chili plant that was growing up. Oh, I missed it. Ah, I gotta come back over here. Yes, this chili plant here. Look at all these hot peppers. Oh yeah, look at all those. Some of them are starting to turn red. When they turn red, that's when they're super spicy. So that's what I'm waiting for. I want them to turn red before I start feasting on them. Another great mood enhancer, eating spicy foods. Yeah, oh, I don't have to mention that too many times. But, whew. yeah, one of my favorite things uh, to kind of help spice up my mood is eating spicy meals. And of course, feasting on those hot peppers. Oh, you can't really beat that. Oh yeah, great tasting snacks. Sometimes I'll even take them on me on a trail run or cycling ride. It's like, it's a, it's a quick spicy snack to kind of give you that uplift. And what I may even start doing is I may even start taking some of these to work with me. So like take two or three, and whenever I get those feelings of loneliness, you know, after I've seen, you know, the. You know, like I mentioned, what triggers me, you know, Papa, Papa hot pepper. Like, I don't want to, I hate to do this, but, you know, for instance, like, let's say, you know, I just get seen down, like, with a happy couple. And I was like, oh, I'm like, oh, feeling lonely and a failure. Bam, have a hot pepper. Mm. And then, woo! Mm. Ah. So that's what I'm going to, that's what I may have to start doing. And I know, I know I mentioned that a lot, but yes, it's one of, it's one of my biggest triggers when it comes to like, kind of just like feelings of failure. And so that's why I think I just gotta, you know, really, you now once the summer, once the nicer weather kind of tapers down, I'm gonna be really hunkering down, trying to work on uh, really finishing up my portfolio. Cause I, I'm, by the end of the summer, I'm probably gonna have a good solid six projects. Then I'm, what I'm gonna be doing is going back and retouching them up, but okay. Back to my garden. Back to back to this garden here. Back. To, oh yeah, more peppers here. Oh, got more flowers budding here. So for any of you out there, I know I've mentioned ways to help with the you know any mental health issues. Exercise. Uh, find a mode of stimulation, whether it's video gaming, uh, programming, crunching numbers. Uh, say exercise. Uh, there was another one. So I mentioned exercise. Of course, eating, you know, find your favorite things to eat. Uh, and then of course, you've got gardening. Yes, kind of developing a green thumb. More hot peppers here. Yeah, there, yeah, check these out. More hot peppers, more peppers. There's some more of those uh, green peppers that will eventually turn red. 
Oh yeah, so there is uh, so much to get. Ah, oh, here we go. I gotta show you guys these. Yes, these bell, these are bell peppers here. They can come down here. Uh, look at the, now these are solid. Uh, hopefully you guys can see them. Yeah, these are solid looking. Oh, way better than what we had last year. Oh, I can't wait till they turn, let them turn red. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, so. And I'm gonna take you over here to my, one of my first plants I ever planted was a habanero plant. This is, and actually this, this plant over here, this is the very first plant I ever planted the seed. And look at that, look, we got some peppers here. And one of them has even started turning orange, yes. A habanero, pe a habanero plant, yes. The good old habanero. Now, I know somewhere here we got, I think a couple of ghost pepper plants as well. I'm not exactly sure. Well, uh, we might have started a little too late, but oh yeah, a mood enhancer right here. That's a mood enhancer. That's another mood enhancer. I'm talking about mood enhancers before I close out this video because yeah, I've got to get to work. But I am determined to. I am determined to very quickly kind of move away from this job into something. That's a lot better, and that will be better for my mood. So, but until that happens, like I mentioned, oh, I gotta kinda just like rye, and it's kinda like seeking the beauty from plants and flowers and the fruits they bear. And it's like, okay, we got a little habanero here. Oh, I think that looks nice and ripe. I think I'm gonna have myself a little habanero pepper right here. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Oh, fresh right from the plant. Can't get any fresher than that. It's only most appropriate before I go to my work. Oh, mmm. Mmm. Woo. Oh, ho, oh, that's a hot one. Oh, well. If there's anything I should be thankful for is the fact that I've had some sec I've, I've had sex success in actually being able to grow some hot peppers. Whew, that was a hot one. Oh, whoa, that was a hot one. Woo -hoo -hoo. And that was a little one too. Whew. And an empty stomach, mind you not. Oh, okay. Well, that is <coughs> a way to really enhance your mood. Woo. Uh, but yep, I think I've got to get to work now. But I want to thank you all for joining in. So for any of you out there who may be battling any mental health issues, I encourage you, develop yourself a green thumb, take up some gardening, or maybe just go to your local market and buy some plants and flowers, decorate your homes, indoor and outdoor, and it will help put you in a much mm, greater mood oh yeah well i think that's gonna do it for now thank you all for watching much love to all of you out there peace